So it has come to my attention that some people watching my video do not very much appreciate my struggle tweet voice. As you guys know, I take criticism very seriously and I read every single suggestion given to me in the comment section. Positive or negative, I always welcome feedback on my channel. Now without further ado. <clears throat> What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a brand new quality of life suggestions. Aparamia, in my opinion, is a really good game, but I'd be lying if I said it was a game without faults. I've compiled a list video of all the things that I would suggest to the developers, the creators of the game, some ideas or some kinks they can work out to make the game that much more enjoyable. Now, without further ado, number one is... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do the entire video like that. <laughs> Now, full disclaimer, I understand that a lot of quality of life changes will be coming in the coming months with Global. However, someone who has played both games, I still see some things that can be improved upon. Personally, I don't think they're completely out of the ballpark. I think they're completely doable. Whether the developers or patch people actually watch this video and take my advice into consideration, we'll see. I don't really care. I just wanted to make this video. I want to address the elephant in the room. I want to start off with the biggest blight in this entire game. The demonic terror that is the mighty shards in exchange boards we have to lower mighty shards in the exchange boards there's too damn much and the cost for each is way too damn high you do not need that many mighty shards in the store i am breaking a thousand for each element at least i don't have time to be farming on our straight for just mighty shards i have to do other stuff in the day you know <laughs> That has to be addressed right now, be it the price of the Mighty Shards or the amount of the Mighty Shards. One of them has to go down because this is absolutely ridiculous. Next up, I wanted to address the secondary demon of the game, summon boards. We have to find a way to make summon board farming less aids. Even if I have a times three EXP book, having to do at least two fights of every single summon is completely tedious, unnecessary, life draining, depression inducing, joy killing cancer. That needs to be remedied very quickly. In my opinion, if you have a three times EXP book, it should take no longer than one fight for each summon in order to max out a boosted character. Whenever someone talks about building a character, the most annoying thing that they always bring up is summon board farming. Almost no one enjoys it. Almost everyone finds it unnecessary. So what you can do, in my opinion, is either boost up the amount of points you can get for each summon fight or start selling summon points in exchange boards. Listen, you got a bullshit amount of mighty shards in there. If you're going to have us spend an exorbitant amount of tokens in that store you might as well give us more useful things matter of fact there's already exchange boards that do sell enhancement points so it's not the most far-fetched thing in the world to suggest that summon board points should also be exchangeable in the store it would make the grinding session for those summon board points less suicidal the next suggestion i have for opera omnia quality of life is we have to make the settings option more accessible in the game i shouldn't have to go directly to the main menu every single time if I wanted to change the audio settings. Ideally, the settings button should be accessible in virtually every single menu in the game. Whether you're in the party, whether you're enhancing weapons, I really think that if the developers made the settings button faster to get to, it'll make the whole UI experience so much smoother. Now, obviously, there's going to be some exceptions of what you can do in the settings given what you're doing at the current moment. For example, if you're in a Lufenia fight, it's kind of weird if you were able to change your support unit mid fight. So obviously in those types of scenarios, you should pick and choose options you can do within the settings. However, ideally 24-7, you should be able to access the settings button. Next quality of life suggestion I have is going to be centered more around grinding, and that is auto repeat missions. We should be able to do this. We should have been able to do this already, whether it be a veteran player or a new player. To some degree, we are always grinding. We could be grinding summon boards. We could be grinding for power orbs. We could be grinding for crystals or gill there should be an option to auto repeat missions you shouldn't have to mash next and retry every single fight that's done i find it to be just an unnecessary pain something that could very easily be done without if so much of this game is centered around grinding you should be able to have a user interface that complements it and makes the grinding process as smooth and easy as possible
possible. This quality of life should have been a thing a while ago, and I don't understand why people aren't really talking about it, or maybe they are talking about it. I just haven't been paying attention. Regardless, I do think it's necessary, and it should be patched. Following up in the grinding process, I want to address the friend unit options. Uh, we should be able to toggle whether we want friend units or not. As someone who's a veteran player, even with Shinryu fights, 9.999 times out of 10, I do not need a friend unit, and I don't use a friend unit. So if I'm grinding and intersecting wills or a chapter, the friend menu that consistently shows up every single fight, I find annoying, and there should be an option to where I could just turn off friend units completely. Obviously, people are going to need friend units. That's why I'm suggesting that you should be able to turn it on. Whenever you fight a hunt, they don't ask for friend units. Whenever you click the begin button before the fight, it begins the fight. And in my opinion, that option should be applicable to every single fight. You shouldn't have to go through a friend menu every single time you fight something. It might not sound like that huge of a difference, but adding up that saved amount of time for say 10, 20, 50 fights, the experience is going to be night and day. The next thing I want to address is the co-op missions. Now, I will say for the most part, the co-op party missions is absolutely fantastic. I love it. The sticker interactions, I think they're extremely fun. There's one thing I would like to be fixed is that you should have the ability to kick party members if you're the host. Sometimes if I'm using a free recruit party and I have my option placed to wanted boosted character for some reason, I still have a squall in my party. I shouldn't be forced to disband the whole party if I don't want that squall. I should be able to individually kick a person if they're not following my preferences. You're able to do this in so many other gacha games, so I don't see the big reason why you shouldn't be able to do it here. On top of that, if hosts are given the option to kick, some people will actually start to listen to those goddamn preferences and not bring a five-star weapon squall into a chaos co-op. Like, what are you doing, bro? In my opinion, there is a very very undervalued currency in Opera Omnia currently. I think that currency is Gil. Lately, we're buying almost everything with co-op tokens, with gems, artifact tokens. Not enough things in the game apart from upgrading weapons relies on Gil, and I think that should be changed. My global account is sitting at 9 million Gil. Given the options we have of spending that Gil, I will never, ever run out of Gil ever again in this game and i guarantee it because there's not enough opportunities or ways for me to spend that gill i think you should be able to spend gill in a lot more places than you already do for example exchange boards i feel like you should be able to spend gill a crystal store where you can buy crystals with gill i think that would be really cool i just think that you should be able to spend a lot more things with your gill apart from just enhancing the weapons these two last quality of life suggestions aren't necessarily with the game itself but in my opinion they're just as important nonetheless the next suggestion I'm giving is that you should include a hype man in global Square Enix live streams. Don't get me wrong, Josh and Crystal are fantastic at their job. I love their personality. I love their energy. I love their kindness whenever they're talking to the chat. And I really like how they present the live streams. That being said, I do think it would help if you had some sort of person in there to hype up the game or to hype up future events coming or to just react to showcase videos on stream. I think that would be a really cool idea. I mean, JP streams already do that with those two Japanese Japanese girls. I think if global live streams took from that and incorporated some sort of reactor or hype man into them, the experience for viewers will be a lot cooler. Last but not least for my quality of life suggestions video, in my opinion, this is single-handedly the most important suggestion I have in this entire video. Um, you got to add me into the fireside chat. I'm sorry. It, like, it's, it's just a reality, man. Like, if you look at my past videos, you'll be able to see that my insight and my commentary to the game is very eloquent. This guy eats babies for breakfast with skim milk is very well articulated what even is going on with vivi's outfit right now it's like they took an entire party city and dumped it on top of him and all in all just extremely intellectual one thing i gotta say though bro is like oh why are these lizards so thick dude why are they so thick thickums done i think if i joined fireside chat i would bring a lot more intrigue into the conversations i think i can help the conversations go more in depth about the game i really think that i would be a great uh, uh addition to fireside chat thickums done anyways guys that's it those are all my quality of life suggestions for Dissidia opera omnia this is just my opinion so i could be completely wrong in some of my suggestions or maybe even all of my suggestions let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me know what kind of suggestions that you would give to opera omnia what parts of the interface would you like to see changed or improved on let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next video